Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Champions Cup. Hello guys, welcome back uh, to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. And I will tell you, I am feeling a little bit better as the day goes along. Uh, some of you know I've been sick today and it's not been fun, feeling congested and head hurting and I just feel those flu symptoms coming and I don't want that to happen. So I said I'm going to make reaction videos today and not lay in my bed uh, reading. And so I feel a little better. Let's see what happens. So Champions Cup Battle Snowball 2019. I don't know what to expect, but I do know whenever someone uses the word champions, it means that the dancers probably really, really good. Really, really good. All right. So let's see what happens. Uh, I, I don't know if it is choreographed uh, dancing or if it is improvisational in nature so I'll reserve my judgment until the end of this video to see who I thought should have won this competition because dancing matters to me and good swing dancing is what gets me going so are you ready and here we go here we go let's turn it over to the band and here's our first couple Jeremy Chanton and Melody Danielle Right. We are going to see what happens. Nice tempo. Yes! Yes. All right, everybody, take your corners, please. Judges, make your decision. Here comes the count. One. That was a tough three. one. For me, this is creativity on the right versus athletics on the left. Yeah, so the, the couple that had the aerials, I edged them up just a little bit because they had a little bit more difficulty. All right. Gustav and Laia. <clears throat> All right, who is this? Ah, Gabrielle and Ida. That was a tough one. Let's see what let's see if the second round clears it up more decisively. So more on the social dance part, okay? I like the styling on the, the folks on the right. It was a little bit 
more jazz than I would look like to see. But I would have to go with Gustav and Lai on the left. Yeah, they would they would be on my left. Yeah, I would have them. Shout out to Ida, my other dance partner out there. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, a lot of expressiveness. Lots of control. <clears throat> Okay, so social. I like that. Different. <laughs> it's clever. All right, that's the that's the winner right there. That's uh, the move we haven't seen in the competition. He just did it. Let's see what happens. Nice aerial, nice aerial. It's still tough to uh, be able to. Oh, it's so tough because you got craftsmanship. Which is like a move that people have seen before, right? Versus someone's original move, something crazy. On my left, left folks. Ah, uh, no way, come on, see? That's what I mean. This is what I mean. So, I had uh, a couple on the left on the last one. Now this is gonna be interesting. All skate for survival! Like how you how you not gonna acknowledge that great move that was the distinction? See what I mean? I I don't know. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So far, it's the couple on the far right that it's killing it. Why are they killing it? It's, the craftsmanship's clear, the level of energy that says they want this, and they're matching the energy's level of the, of the band, it's higher than both of the other couples. Okay, they're playing with the music. The other couples aren't playing, hearing that. So my eyes as a judge, I'm going to those who are one with the band, who make me as an audience member want to buy the music. All right, let's see who won that. Let's let's see what happened. All right, I don't know. That's it for this video, but I'm gonna tell you who won that. The whole thing for me was uh, the couple that for me that just got thrown into this category and they shouldn't have been in that category they shouldn't have been in that category but again people are looking for different things as a judge so for me you guys know i'm looking for the balance of craftsmanship and artistry but i want an edge of artistry to be higher i don't want just craftsmanship because every single dancer if you're good and are competing can do all of the moves tuck turn Swing out, traditional aerials, Texas Tommy, what else? We, we, we've seen that and we can do it well. I get it. That's what I get. I get it. I'm a teacher. That's what I teach. I try to help people learn that stuff. But when you're competing in a battle format like this, I'm sorry, but the spirit of swing how it used to be was all about show me something that we haven't seen before come at me bro i'm sure they said it a different way 
And the winner of this competition, out of all the couples for me, at least in this particular uh, format, uh, yes, uh, Katia, it looks like Katia, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that J, and Florent. I'm sorry, that's who I picked. They had craftsmanship, but I saw a little bit more timing so I could appreciate the music, and I also saw creativity. That area with that little that little Neo thing and the and the Rise of Skywalker flip that she does, you know what I mean? He did that! He did it! And nailed it on beat. I don't care what anybody says, so you guys see how I feel about it all. <coughs> it's making me more sick again thinking about it. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think about that particular set? That was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. So you heard my comments. You guys know what I look for. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you guys want to get more inspiration to be able to be inspired to start creating like like Florent and Katia, like they did, I encourage you to check out some of my classes below. This is all I work on every day is coming up with new ways to move and Lindy Hop to inspire my community online. And I want you to be someone who can add to the Lindy Hop legacy for generations from, from now on. Man, I didn't get a chance to meet Frankie Manning. I came one year after he came into the, you know, came, passed away. I didn't get a chance to meet him. But I'm here not because of him directly, but because of the ideas that were developed in many cases by him and many of the dancers before him, but he taught those ideas to many of my teachers who didn't look anything like him. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like Bruce Lee, and all I got was Chuck Norris. That was my teachers. And yet it sufficed. It was good enough because I got fired up on Lindy Hop, and now I understand the craftsmanship of it, and I got it. But I want to see some artistry. I want to see you be that next person who contributes as much to the genre like Frankie Manning did. So let's see what happens, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If I don't see you uh, in one of my classes online, I want to see what you think about this video in the comment sections. Take care.